Hi everyone, it's the Bell Catholic, your sister in Christ. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Um, this will be January 12, 2011, uh, daily quote and reading. Um, since the reading is pretty short, I will read it all. And if I have enough time, um, I will do uh, January 13. But if not, then I will have to do a separate video for that one. With that said, uh, today's, well, January 12, 2011's quote is St. Margaret Borgois. Our Lady's love is like a stream that has its source in the eternal fountains. Quenches the thirst of all, can never be drained, and ever flows back to its source. St. Margaret Bourgois. January 12, uh, daily reading is Genesis chapter 27 and 28 and Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. When Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called Esau, his older son, and said to him, My son, and he answered, Here I am. He said, Behold, I am old. I do not know the day of my death. Now then, take your weapons, your quiver, and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me, and prepare for me savory food, such as I love, and bring it to me that I may eat, that I may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to his son Esau. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for game and bring it, Rebekah said to her son Jacob, I heard your father speak to your brother Esau. Bring me game and prepare for me savory food that I may eat it and bless you before the Lord before I die. Now therefore, my son, obey my word as I command you. Go to the flock and fetch me two good kids that I may prepare from them savory food for your father such as he loves and you shall bring it to your father to eat so that he may bless you before he dies but jacob said to rebecca his mother behold my brother esau is a hairy man and i am a smooth man perhaps my father will feel me and i shall seem to be mocking him and bring a curse upon myself and not a blessing his mother said to him um Upon me be your curse, my son. Only obey my word and go, fetch them to me. So he went and took them and brought them to his mother. And his mother prepared savory food such as his father loved. When Rebekah took the best garment of Esau, of Esau, her older son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son, and the skins of the kids she put upon his hands and upon the smooth part of his neck, and she gave him the savory food and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. So he went into so he went into his father and said, My father, and he said, Here I am. Who are you, my son? Jacob said to his father, <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Now sit up and eat of my game, that you may bless me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? He answered, Because the Lord your God granted me success. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come near that I may feel you my son, to know whether you are really my son Esau or not. So Jacob went near to Isaac, his father, who felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he did not recognize him, because his hands were hairy like his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. He said, Are you really my son Esau? He answered, I am. Then he said, 
<clears throat> bring it to me that I may eat of my son's game and bless you. So he brought it to him and he ate and he brought him wine and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come near and kiss me, my son. So he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his garments, and blessed him, and said, <clears throat> See, the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which the Lord has blessed. May God give you the due of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of grain and wine let people serve you and nations bow down to you be lord over your brothers and may your mother's son bow down to you cursed be everyone who curses you and blessed be everyone who blesses you so as isaac had finished blessing jacob when jacob had scarcely gone out from the presence of isaac his father Esau, his brother came in from his hunting he also prepared savory food and brought it to his father and he said to his father let my father arise and eat of his son's game that you may bless me his father Isaac said to him who are you he answered I am your son your firstborn is Sal then Isaac trembled violently and said who was it that hunted game and brought it to me and I ate it be all before you came and I have blessed him yes and he shall be blessed when Esau heard the words of his father he cried out with an exceedingly great and bitter cry and he said to his father bless me even me also O oh my father but he said, Your brother came with Gil, and he has taken away your blessing. Esau said, He is not rightly named Jacob, for he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my, <clears throat> my birthright, and behold, now he has taken away my blessing. Then he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? Isaac answered Esau, Behold, I have made him your lord, and all his brothers I have given to him for servants, and with grain and wine I have <clears throat> sustained him. What then can I do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, Have you but one blessing, my father? Bless me. Even me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac his father had answered him, Behold, away from the fatness of the earth shall your dwelling be, and away from the dew of heaven on high. But your sword you shall live, by your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother. But when you break loose, you shall break his yoke from your neck. <clears throat> 